It's Monday. It is Monday. Yeah, yeah. Fresh new start, fresh new week. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What can you get done this week? What can you get done this week? Oh my God. I love Mondays. You guys know I love Mondays. It's a fresh new slate, fresh new week. Just everything that happened last week, it's gone. Everything that's going to happen this week. Yay, yay, yay. Which reminds me, I want to talk about when things don't go your way. So I've been getting a lot of emails and DMs asking me, what do you do, Teresa, when things don't go your way? Like I've been doing something for a long time and it's just not going my way and I feel like I just need to quit and just move on and do something different. If I had a million dollars for every time something didn't go my way, or it didn't go as fast as I wanted it to go, I'd be a gazillionaire by now. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, okay, let's use this as an example. Right now with YouTube, all kinds of weird, wacky crap going on with YouTube. Don't know what it is. One day I can put a video up and within a couple days I've got 25,000 views, but my watch time is very little. Like people didn't watch for very long. And it's the same kind of content. And don't come at me and go, oh, well, it's your content, Tracy. Your content's changed. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. From five years ago to four years ago to three years ago to two years ago, the content is still the same. It's my house. It's what's going on at my house. I don't care if I was chopping down trees with Mr. Fabulous. I don't care if I'm going shopping with Tashina. I don't care. The, 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 Content is still the same. I don't care if I'm at Louis Vuitton shopping. I don't care if I'm at Saks shopping. I don't care. I don't care. It's, it's the same content. It's Teresa Romer. It's Teresa Romer's life. But I'm just telling you, if I fed into the crap with what's going on, I would probably want to quit YouTube because I'm not happy with what I'm seeing. But you know what? Is that what you do in life, when things just don't go your way and things aren't going the way you thought they should go, you just throw in the towel and say, what the hell, I'm not gonna try anymore? No, tenacity. You, 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 you've got to just continue to believe in yourself, believe in your end goal of how you want it to come out and just keep plugging away. And I know some of you going, oh my God, she's on the same subject again. Oh my God, she always talks about the same things. No, I don't, no, I don't. But when you guys come at me and you constantly are inundating my inbox and my DMs on Instagram and everything, and you're all asking me relatively the same question. I mean, like you're not coming out and saying the exact same wordage, but you're in a roundabout way, all of you are saying the same thing. Like, how do you not get upset or disappointed or feel like you're let down when things just don't go the way you wanted them to go? I'm like, it is what it is. Cause you know what? I believe in God and I know, I know God has already written my story. God has already written my story. My story was written out the day I was born. God already knew what was going to happen to me in my 20s, my 30s, my 40s, my 50s, now my 60s. Like God already has my, he had my birth date planned, he has my exit date planned, and he has everything that's going to happen to me, whether it's good or bad, laid out in my story already. I don't really have much say so. But what I do have a say so on is I believe in my dreams and my goals, and as long as I stay focused and I work hard, I'm going to make those things happen because I believe in Him and I believe that those things I'm wanting and desiring and thinking about, working so hard to make happen, are going to happen because I'm putting them in the universe. And God's saying, you know what? You're right. Those align with my story that I already have written for you so let's let's go i mean like i i can tell you so many times even through the construction of this house how many times i got upset when a beam when we couldn't get the beams the beams were back ordered back ordered back ordered well did i just scrap it and go okay well, well let's not do that let's just change our plans and do something else no i'm like have faith guys we're going to get those beams the beams are coming don't worry we're going to get beams nope no beams are to be found yep we're going to get beams I mean, like, 
If I, could, if I could tell you how many times I've been told something couldn't happen in my life, and yet I made it happen. I mean, like, you just can't give up just because things don't happen to go your way. People are always like, well, I've been trying to make this happen, and it, it just won't happen. Well, maybe you don't believe in yourself. Maybe you're not believing in yourself enough to continue to put it in the universe to make it happen. Just saying. Just saying. So today's message today, guys, is all about believe in yourself, don't give up, and keep going after what you believe in and what you want to have happen. And I'm telling you, sometimes, sometimes when you want something to happen and it's not a good thing, God's not going to let it happen. Maybe you're not supposed to be with that person. Maybe you're not supposed to have certain things happen in your life because they're not good for you. But you can't see that. You keep going, oh, but I want that to happen, or I want to be with that person, or I want that. Maybe it's not supposed to happen. Maybe you were meant to go through this disappointment for a reason, to have you come out on the other side a much stronger, better, bigger person. You have to believe in yourself. You need to go with your gut. Your gut never really steers you wrong. But a lot of times our mind and our heart will try to override what's really supposed to have happen. That's why they call it a gut feeling. <laughs> Anyways, we have lots and lots and lots of stuff going on around here. Tashina's getting moved in to the barn dominium. We've got crews back over at my house because we got a punch list to do at my house too. So, you know, for those of you that kept thinking, oh, it's going to be over with so soon, it's never over. <laughs> it's never over. Do you know how many cracks I found in all my walls in my house? Oh, my God. <laughs> and then you're like, well, why do you have cracks in your walls? Well, because houses move, especially big houses. Houses move. Oh, and while we're here and we're talking, so many of you coming at me on why I've lost weight. Well, we're going to flash up some pictures right here of me 10 years ago. I know you're going to go, ah, well, we all were skinnier 10 years ago. Good God, Teresa. No, women that go through menopause, and we're going to touch base on this for just a minute. Women that go through menopause have a harder time. When I was Mrs. Texas in 2010, I was thin. When I uh, stood naked in Times Square in 2015. I was thin again. I mean, like, I've been thin, but I think some of you must have forgotten or not noticed. I don't know. Yes. Am I back to wearing the clothes I was wearing nine, ten years ago? Yes. Is it through all kinds of crap that I'm doing? Yes. It's called eating right, exercising. Yes. Have I been through stress this year and last year with Lamar? Yes. So, anyways, not going to talk any more about that subject, but just put it to rest, guys. It's just, it is what it is. No, I ain't doing nothing behind everybody's back to make it happen. So let's get on with the ranch dates because it's exciting. Let's go. Looking good. OMG. Got the smoke alarms mounted. Everything's painted. We're doing concrete stain. It's looking good. Yes, 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 yes. Much, much better than this bluish gray crap the other guy put in here and did it wrong. This is going to look so good. Those are going to get mounted tomorrow, hopefully, right there. Look at Tashina in her work clothes. Yeah. Working girl. Mm. Or she's trying to look like one, anyways. I miss working. We'll let you go back to work anytime you want. I just miss getting dirty. Maybe Sergio has room on his crew. What? She said she misses getting dirty, and I said, well, maybe Sergio has an opening on his crew. Yeah. We want to make another clean crew. No. I don't think she wants cleaning crew. What, what kind of dirty do you want to get? Manly dirty. Manly dirty. <laughs> Take that how you want. I don't, I don't know what that means. Manly dirty. Her 
trying to get the washer and dryer downstairs to get everything hooked up. Then they got the dryer over there. You gotta love stairs. <laughs> Now they're getting the stove downstairs. So exciting. It's coming along. Too pretty, 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 pretty. Look how pretty. Just got done doing a concrete stain in here. I love the color. I love it. Caroline and I deep cleaned in here earlier. So everything is nice and clean and we've got a fresh layer of concrete stain so far in here. Much better than this bluish gray. Much, much better. Love it. Yeah. Okay, they are doing the master bedroom and they are concrete staining the master closet. Oh my God, it's so much better. We're gonna have to do two coats, of course, and then of course seal it, but it's looking amazing. Ooh, yeah, look at that concrete stain. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Looking amazing. TVs are going to get hung. The rest of the hardware is going to finish getting put on. We've got to put another coat on and then we're going to seal it. Looking good. And we've got some winners. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, so our first winner is a Hey Peeps member. They have been a Hey Peeps member for five months. This winner's name is Darren Ingham. I-N-G-H-A-M, Darren Ingham. I hope I said that right. Congratulations, Darren, congratulations. So, got a rug down in case they bring in mud today. But anyways, the floor is done with one coat. So now we're gonna get ready today to put a second coat on. Oh my gosh, we are so close. Tomorrow she's moving in guys. Oh my God, oh my God. So we're gonna bring the washer and dryer down today. We're bringing the range and the dish and the, and the microwave down today. Oh my gosh, 
We are so ready. TVs get hung tomorrow. So ready, so ready, so ready. Let's get the second coat on so we can get it sealed up, get the furniture in here. So exciting, guys. So exciting. I have to order blinds for that window. They still have to paint that. I gotta order a blind, big blind for that window. But yeah, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Still got some handles to get put on, but we are ready. Okay, it is move-in day. So she's busy bringing stuff down from upstairs. The IT guy is here getting ready to hang TVs. The rugs are here. We just have them folded up so the workers don't get them all dirty. But we are moving everything in. IT is hooking stuff up. They're finishing some last minute stuff. Furniture is supposed to be here around 1, 1 1.30. They should be getting that plastic off today. They're finishing up in here. Her bed has been brought down. Her dresser's downstairs. So she is getting everything moved down here. Workers are still trying to finish up some minute little things. I've got the blinds all ordered for the windows. So we are making progress. Furniture will be here shortly. I'll straighten these rugs out. Here we go, guys. Okay, her furniture is arriving. Okay, it's starting to look like a home. Got everybody working. Everybody's working. Got these guys putting together end tables. Here, we got a coffee table to put together. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of this blue crap on these flat on oh, these uh, pillows. But for now. We've got them flipped over so you can't see. I don't think she likes to do these, are the, these are the pillows that come in with it, so it is what it is. These guys are still working on some stuff over here. They're working on IT stuff. Yeah, it's coming together. TV's working. Oh yeah, we can sit and watch TV if we want. We got the TV, TV mounted. So that's going. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope you got the message. And our next winner is Fran Powers. She belongs to the Peeps Club, and she has been a member for 10 months. 10 months. Congratulations, Fran Powers. So, you guys have often said, or we get some comments every once in a while, that there's not as many VI peeps that win as we have peeps, hey peeps and peeps club. So you have to understand, you have a very, very, very big chance of winning if you are in the hey peeps club because there's so many of you. So your chances are way bigger. So if you're wondering, how come we don't see as many VI peeps winning? Well, there's less of you. <laughs> so you have to remember, when there's less of you, there's less of a chance of you to win. But when you do win, you win big. You win a much, way much bigger dollar amount than the Hey Peeps or the uh, Peeps Club. So just remember, I know some of you were going, well, wait a minute, I'm a VI peeps and I haven't, I haven't seen as many VI peeps winning as I see others winning. Well, there's a reason why, because there are hundreds of hey peeps. So your chances of getting picked as a hey peeps is way bigger, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to win if you're a VI peeps or a peeps club. Just hang in there. We're continuing to pick winners all the time, like almost three times a week. Last Friday, we didn't pick one because it was all about Fashion Friday. We didn't want to include it, so no big deal. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you got the message. God, I hope you got the message. 
it doesn't matter if things are not always in your favor. You still don't give up. You just keep plugging along, plugging along, and things will finally take a turn for the better and things will go in your favor. I don't know how many times people have tried to do things and I mean like, I, I could recite how many multi-billionaires have done and attempted to do things so many times in their lives only to turn up as a failure or it not being the right time until finally after the 80th try or the seventh try or the hundredth try or whatever, it finally happens for them. So like I said, just like right now with, with YouTube, I could be just getting mad as hell that things are, have changed and the algorithms and the this and the that and everything else. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. It's not going to do any good. You know, it, it, it'll, it'll work its way out. It, I got too many other things to concentrate on right now. But I'm not going to give up on YouTube. I'm not going to give up on you guys. I love you guys. I'm going to keep documenting my life. We're going to keep doing all of this. So don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. But I'm just saying, I don't let it get me. I don't let it get me. There's too many other things that are more important. Tomorrow, my husband's going in for hip replacement. That's way more important than worrying about why my numbers aren't right with YouTube. Things will work out. They always do. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's message. Get out there. Live your best life. Tomorrow is not promised. Just don't give up, guys. Don't give up. Just keep plugging along. Hard work pays off. It really does. So until next time, remember, remember, check out my link tree. Check out my link tree. My link tree has all of my social media accounts on it. Every single one. Everything from cameo appearances to Snapchat to TikTok to Facebook to Twitter to everything. Like all of my social media accounts are on my link tree. So check it out. So until next time, bye-bye.